What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Another Cyber Monday special just sold out. 15 Immaculate Collegiate Multisport one box break number 38 and 39. We're actually bought as personals by Michael L. So, Michael, we're going to be doing these together in the one box. Now, there's three boxes left. Um, one, two, three. So, let's generate the first box we're going to do for this break. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, I don't know about Jimmy, Chad. I've been hitting for him like crazy. Maybe because he's actually, actually nice to me and a real fan. Doesn't just speak nonsense. He actually hit in the in the hit parade too. One, two, three, four. So we're gonna do the middle box here, and then one, two, three for the top. Four, five, six for the bottom. Four. One, two, three. Four, five, six. So this box will remain for the last one. I'll put that over here. All right. But yeah, you can tell. I've been hitting great for Jimmy, honestly. Ah. Oh, well, yeah, he only got one hit today. But he hit some nice ones in the last one. But it's not going hitless, though. It's like so sticky. But if that's why, well, that's just that's just faith. Even though I'm a nice guy, I like, can't help those Huskies out this week. All right, two big games for me, sports-wise, this week, man. I got Oregon on Friday, and then you have the Eagles and 49ers on on Sunday. Although I'm not too really worried about the Eagles one. I mean, they're gonna lose one of these games eventually, so I'm okay with them losing a game or two here since they already kind of got through their gauntlet. So. All right, so gold to 25. We have a Jaquis uh, Tart. I hope so, Chad. But I don't know. So the Eagles just not have been playing. I mean, I don't know. I guess it's just like the Eagles haven't been playing like themselves like they can be. Um, but they are still finding ways to win, so that's fine. You know, I, maybe that's just how they're going to be this year. I mean, it's much more competitive this year. People know how to scheme on the Eagles, right? Plan for the Eagles. So, Trey Mann. Or Trey Mason, sorry. So, I mean, maybe that's just the way it is, you know? Eagles t don't start off so horrible, but they make those second-half adjustments, and then Jalen Hurts is playing beautifully at, from behind. You know what I mean? So, it's like, I don't know, like... It's just like they find a way to, to readjust at halftime. And then Jalen Hurts turns into a total different quarterback when it's crunch time and they're down by like 10 plus. All right, Chris McCullough and uh, Kareem Christmas. Tua versus the Commanders. I don't know. I mean, I guess the Commanders kind of got rid of their pass rush a little bit, right? So it may not be as, as bad. Clyde Walford. The thing, I, the thing I like about Hurts is that obviously is that you know you're gonna get those rushing points. Which, if they get down to the, to the one yard line, you know he's getting that touchdown, right? You know. So it's like that's a tough one though. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, like he he like wakes up. Melvin Gordon to 99. And the defense plays just a little bit better. Although again, the Bills had their chances. You know, Josh Allen read the wrong play, but I don't think he read the wrong play. I think he just got uh, a little pressure at the end there and, and just threw the in route, the post instead of the corner route to, to uh, Gabe's. But that's just pressure, right? Pressure in your face. But, you know, I got that also is, is, is based on obviously Eagles getting right to him on the blitz. Jarrell Martin <laughs> making him think quick. All right. So you got a Melvin Gordon RPA, which again was pretty big back then today. Not sure about that. Trey Mason, I remember he had an okay NFL career early on, but I think he had some some like CT problems, I think concussions, because I remember he went missing for a while and I don't know what else happened to him after that. But I remember he was on the Rams. 
All right, here's your second box, Michael. But yeah, I don't know. I, I think they're both good, but I uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm more biased towards the Eagles. Like I know he, I know Harris will always get points, so it's like I'm okay with starting him. But I mean, Tua can call Tua can go off on the Commanders, I guess. I'm more excited than for Tyreek Hill than anything. I have Tyreek Hill in my fantasy. This is my friend's league. $200 a spot league. And this is where I'm raking for my team right here. It's a normal league. Probably one of the better fantasy seasons I've had in years. Soon to be not a 10 and 2. Alright, Mark McGuire out of 10. We got Gary Brown to 99. I mean, it could be a shootout, for sure. Sam Howell can sling it. He has receivers. I just don't know if the pass rush will get to Tua fast enough. Because Tua, obviously, is one of the fastest quarterbacks in the league getting the ball out of his hands. So, I mean, they might not even get to him that fast. All right, nice uh, dual relic. Brett Lilac and Jalen Strong to 25. Oh, wow, dude. Five teams left. You got a little Devin Booker to 99. Man, this dude was so good in college. Marquise Lee to 99. Does it really pan out with the Jaguars? We got a Jordan Mickey. Oh, Jimmy's in that one too? Damn. Miles Turner to 99. Two color patch to 99. So you're going to Vegas on Sunday, Chad? Just like for fun? Work or, or, or what, what's the occasion? We have an Amari Cooper. Wow. Rookie autographs gold. That actually would be a nice one if we can get that one redeemed. So, uh, Michael, I don't know. I mean, sometimes Panini, they, I don't know if they'll have this, but they'll replace it with something, maybe. If not, some points, but that would have been a sweet one back in the day. Rookie autographs, gold, Amari Cooper. And last but not least, Cliff, and, uh, Cliff Alexander to 99. Ah, nice. All right. There you go. Oh, you know what? That's right, Chad. Usually during the winter time, uh, the the tax conferences are in Vegas, right? That's the one my sister and my my buddy Gary and them go to every every year. I forgot about that. It's always in Vegas too, huh? Dangerous. All right, so there you go. You got to learn like all the new laws and regulations, and take all these damn seminars and shit. All right. There you go. Thank you, Michael. And again, the last box is also a personal, which will be coming up in a separate video for Wester. So we'll do that separate, guys. Thank you.